one should go on one. Can I have some noodles on it? No? Well, I guess he told you. I'm a big deer now. He doesn't want to be embarrassed in front of all these ladies. They don't think he's so cool. He's the cool young buck. There's one of the big boys. Snuck up behind you. It's behind the column. I can't oh, see him. I guess not. Are you totally new now, officially? Well, the goal was to raise a wild deer that could go out and take care of itself. And oh, absolutely. He's still come by to visit, but he really doesn't need our help anymore. Any more than anybody else comes by for a free meal. Although he does enjoy the extra apples. Yes. Still. And we've had a couple of folks recently concerned about the collar. For those that weren't here early on in the series, it's been covered several times, but it's a snap-on collar, same snaps as a western shirt. If it snags on something, he won't get snagged and hung up on it. The collar pops right off and Bambi keeps going. He's been through, I don't know, four or five. Um, at least one of them we found, picked up and brought back and put on him again. So they pop right off. It's very soft ribbon. He's not going to get hung up on it and he's not going to get snagged and hang himself. Yes, it makes him a little easier to see, but that was the whole idea. The biggest threat to Bambi in this area isn't the 
occasional hunter who is actually a poacher if they're breaking all the laws and hunting here. But it's the automobiles. So, making him visible to the cars at night was the goal. We lose more deers to cars and surprisingly enough crossing the railroad track and not getting out of the way of the train. Yes, we have coyotes, but they in general don't have a whole lot of luck taking down a full-grown healthy deer. If the coyotes get one, it's usually because it was already sick or slow or injured. Or an unattended baby. And generally, babies, if they're left unattended, there's something going on that's not healthy with them. Where mom would never leave them like that. Around the water, anyway. So yes, we do have a few natural predators, coyotes and alligators, but by and large, it's not human hunters, it's people driving too fast, it's the biggest danger. These guys tend to run in a line, so somebody will think they missed the first deer, and just like that, they're looking to the right, and the next deer jumps up on their left and runs right in front of them. Unfortunately, it happens way too often. Careful, you might get one of them carrots with a couple last kernels of corn. <laughs> Yes. His taste change every day. He used to cry for carrots and apples, blueberries. Been a long time since he had a blueberry or any oatmeal. He's not been wanting them. That's what I'm saying. We offer him and he doesn't want them. Yeah. I didn't offer those two items tonight because I did it yesterday and he wasn't the least bit interested. Oh, that's the other thing that gets addressed several times. Some corn can be contaminated with a fungus that's very harmful to all wildlife that eats it. In fact, even people if they eat it. Domestic animals too. Domestic animals or wild animals. If the fungus is growing in the corn, it can be it can make them sick or actually kill them. This is corn that has been tested and sold as feed corn. And just like humans shouldn't eat anything 100% of the time, corn should not be the only thing that deer eat. But these are wild deer and corn is not the only thing they eat. It shouldn't be much more than 20% of their total diet. And these guys eat all day long. So this couple pounds of deer spread between 20 deer isn't 20% of their diet, I can guarantee. And we're also feeding some higher protein rack builder that's specifically for deer. That's what it looks like. It looks almost like a dog food, but that's a higher protein rat, uh, berry flavored deer food. All right, I'm going to run out of battery here in a few seconds, so I'm going to just click stop now before it dies by itself. If you all are watching this far into a, I don't know if this could be what, hundred and well into a hundred and some dinners with Bambi, please click the subscribe button and cl click the notify button. Please join the crowd and see you again tomorrow.